I don't know about you, but Claude Code started acting really strange for me. The main issue isn't with the coding agent itself, but with the models running it. Claude models are already expensive, and the usage limits for Claude Code were never sustainable in the long run. There has to be a better way to continue using this amazing agent without the issues. This is where GLM come in with their plan for Claude Code, giving you access to their best model for only $3. This unlocks completely new AI workflows that didn't seem possible before. At first, I thought I was the only one facing this problem. Random errors would appear at unexpected times, forcing me to explain each issue just to get a fix. While it wasn't constant, the inconsistency throughout the coding process was problematic. I soon discovered I wasn't alone. Recently, X exploded with comparisons between Claude Code and Codex, revealing why people initially made the switch. Anthropic offered Claude Code with existing subscriptions instead of requiring API usage, a significant advantage over Cursor's new pricing model at that time. The real issue wasn't Claude Code itself, but the underlying models. Quality was deteriorating, and while users raised concerns across subreddits and X, Anthropic initially denied any problems. They eventually acknowledged investigating output quality issues, admitting that a small percentage of Claude Sonnet 4 users experienced degraded performance. This was exactly what I was facing, though far more frequently than they suggested. The flood of complaints on X indicated this wasn't affecting just a small minority. By the end of last month, they admitted Opus 4.1 models were also experiencing quality degradation. While they claimed to have implemented fixes and some users reported improvements, I haven't seen any meaningful change in performance. Not everyone faces these issues. Many users on X and in our Discord community report no problems. According to their documentation, the $20 plan offered 10 to 40 prompts, while higher tiers provided substantially more. This competitive pricing against Cursor works initially, but as both platforms evolved their models, the current approach simply isn't viable for the long run. ZAI, the lab behind the GLM models, recently announced an exclusive coding plan for Claude Code that's truly remarkable. I'll show you the pricing and limits, and you'll see an interesting contrast. Coding is becoming dramatically cheaper on one side, while these new flagship models grow more expensive by the day. They've been transparent with their data, and my own testing confirms their accuracy, particularly for Claude 4. In their benchmark competitions, the model won 40% of the time, tied 10%, and lost the remaining 50%. While their model hasn't surpassed the Claude models yet, the performance gap is narrowing. The Kimi K2 model's performance was particularly surprising, as it's marketed to match Claude 4. The GLM coding light plan costs $3 and provides around 120 prompts within a 5-hour window. This plan works exclusively with Claude code, but remains accessible to other agents. While I'll share the full list, I personally use it with Claude code for its excellent agent features, hooks, agent management, and sub-agents. Now, a quick break to tell you about today's sponsor, Lindy, the AI agent platform that tests before it ships your products. With their new release, Lindy Build, you can turn any idea into a production-ready app just by describing it in plain English. You tell it what you want, and it generates the front-end, back-end, database, and integrations, then runs QA tests and fixes issues automatically. You don't just get code, you get a working business. Imagine saying a few words, and in minutes, you'd have a polished site ready to launch. What what makes Build different is quality. Other builders spit out broken code and leave you debugging. Build ships fast and fixes things so you can skip headaches and focus on your idea. Go from zero to MVP in minutes with Lindy Build. Check them out at the link in the description. All right, let's jump back into the video. The Pro model delivers 600 prompts in a five hour window for just $15. This value is extraordinary when you compare it to Claude Code's $20 plan with only 45 prompts or the $100 plan offering 50 to 200 prompts. I'm heading into the platform's API section to get my API key. After viewing the plans, you'll see the two we discussed, the $3 monthly plan and the $15 monthly plan. Note that this pricing applies only to the first month. Afterward, it increases to $6 and $30 respectively. Even with these increases, it remains far more affordable than Claude Code's pricing as I've shown you with the limits. I've subscribed to the $3 plan for testing. Within the five-hour window, it's been sufficient, though I haven't exhausted all the prompts yet. 
First, you'll need to get your API key for later use. Then navigate to the GLM coding plan documentation, where you'll find the section on integrating with other tools. The integration extends beyond Claude code to other tools as well. Klein is included, which is excellent. It's a solid agent with impressive features. For configuration, once you have your API key, you can set up environment variables either through a script or manually. I chose manual configuration. I copied the code, navigated to my target folder for running Claude code with the GLM model and entered the API key. You can see we've set our override environment variable and API base URL. I gave identical prompts to both Claude code using the Claude models and the GLM model. In the section with normal Claude code, we haven't overridden the environment variables. We're building a demo model comparison studio that displays AI model responses side by side. It's a mock-up focused on beautiful UI design that's already built out. What really amazed me was the GLM model's response time. It's extremely fast based on my experience. This demonstration shows the raw creativity of both models and their performance on simple instructions. The GLM model's first output needed some polish. For instance, the glow effect looks great now, but initially it was just simple highlighting. These are minor refinement points. Otherwise, the UI and UX looked quite good. I did need to reprompt the GLM model for improvements, and now it looks solid. The Claude model produced cleaner output with impressive animations. You'll notice a subtle animation as the outcome renders. Despite some blur during processing, Claude clearly delivered superior UI output compared to the GLM model. However, the GLM model isn't performing like an older AI system. It's actually quite capable. With proper prompting, it performs better. As we've emphasized throughout this channel, context engineering is crucial. With the right instructions, it can definitely improve, which brings us to our next use case and the real advantage of having this GLM model available. Since this new GLM model provide significantly more prompts at such a low price, one major advantage is running more model instances for less cost. This means you can execute parallel workflows much more efficiently. We recently produced a video demonstrating how to break down app development or complex tasks into parallel workflows. We used a specific coding framework called the BMAD method, implementing it so Claude code could execute tasks in parallel. We then ran these in separate Git work trees using an application called Conductor. That's a separate video worth watching watching for the full details. At the time, this approach was more conceptual, accessible mainly to those with max plans. Now, with 600 prompts for $15 the first month and $30 afterward, this parallel workflow becomes genuinely affordable and will significantly accelerate your coding process. This brings us to another important use case. UI prototyping is a crucial component of the software industry. Developers invest considerable time iterating through different designs to achieve the perfect result. If there's one area where AI has made a substantial impact that most developers agree on, it's prototyping. Here you can see I've generated different prototypes. These are variations of color schemes using the same structure. I'm currently using superdesign.dev, an open source extension that works with Claude code, cursor, or any agent. It enables iterative UI building and provides a canvas view where the design files are rendered. These prototypes use HTML files because they're the easiest to modify and allow rapid prototyping. The challenge emerges when using Claude code for this process. I've created many videos demonstrating how to generate multiple designs iteratively until reaching the perfect result. These iterations consumed numerous messages and were expensive. This is where GLM models provide a solution, offering a high number of prompts at a very low price. In my previous videos, the extensive iterations I demonstrated were only feasible with a $100 max plan. That's no longer necessary. You can access the same prompt volume for $15 initially initially, then $30 ongoing, which remains excellent value. You can see it created three different themes from a single message. Super Design has its own workflow requiring you to finalize the layout first, then confirm animations through clarifying questions. Using this with Claude code would consume many tokens and limit creative prototyping flexibility, but this approach helps significantly. As shown, I generated these color prototype variations because I specifically requested an AI mobile chat app with color variations. I needed three designs and it delivered, providing three designs with identical layout but differentiated colors. There's a minor overlap issue which aligns with the performance differences I mentioned earlier. However, this isn't critical. The major benefit is having many more prompts at a
at a much lower price, enabling creative design exploration. Let's say I've selected this dark mode design. Now I can confirm it and request variations in the chat bubble animations. The model changed the prototype colors while maintaining the same structure. This time, it only modified the chat bubble animations, giving one more bounce than the others. I believe this is the standard version, and while it appears one style was repeated, the GLM model truly brings this use case to life and transforms the prototyping perspective entirely. If you prefer not to use Claude code, you've already seen the various coding agents compatible with this model. You can use any of them. For around $3, later increasing to $6, having this as a dedicated prototyping tool is genuinely phenomenal. That brings us to the end of this video. If you'd like to support the channel and help us keep making videos like this, you can do so by using the super thanks button below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.